everybody. It's your friend Carson coming back at you again. Uh, it's been quite a while since I did a video. Um, and so I figured it was high time that I do another one. Um, I'm trying something a little bit newer today, uh, new to the channel. Instead of uh, uh, streaming live to Facebook uh, and capturing the video, I decided to just go ahead and pre-record this video. Um, I'm not going to do a lot of editing or anything like that, but the, um, the video quality should be much better this time. Uh, so today, uh, I thought since it's coming up on the Christmas season, uh, that we do a Christmas ornament together. And if we get to it, we might also do a hollow pendant uh, using the same technique. Um, so anyways, that's what I figured. I have made this Christmas ornament on video before. Uh, but this one is kind of a redo because uh, it'll be better video quality and, uh, you know, it's just a good, a good video to do for this time of year. Um, here's a couple of examples of what I'm going to be making. So that is a cap glass Christmas ornament. <clears throat> this is the style that I'll be making. So uh, that's, that's a, a, using a green tube with a caramel and silver fuming. This is using a cobalt tube uh, and, and using white. Uh, so those are two examples. Um, if you don't already know, I do have, uh, I, I decided to do a limited run this year of my Christmas ornaments. I only made 30 available for purchase uh, and I've sold about half of them. So there's 15 still available as of today which is uh, November the 28th of 2018. So if you would be interested in purchasing a Christmas ornament for yourself, a Cat Glass Limited 2018 Christmas ornament, uh, they're $30 a piece plus shipping. Unless you live locally in Atlanta, we can figure out a way to get one to you in person. Um, so there's my little plug. Uh, and they're, two, they're available in either one of these styles. I have about nine of these left, and I have about six of these left. Um, the ornament that I'm going to be demoing today in the spirit of Christmas and the Christmas season and in the spirit of giving, I decided to go ahead and do a giveaway to my YouTube subscribers. Uh, if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and uh, subscribe now uh, to enter into the contest. All you're going to need to do is pick a number between 1 and 300, put it in the uh, comments section of this video, uh, between a number between 1 and 300. I will go ahead and do a random number generator drawing a week from today. So that's how we're going to do that. So the, the ornament that I make here today uh, during this demo uh, will be uh, given away to one of my YouTube subscribers. So that's all there is to it. Just subscribe and uh, drop a comment with a number between 1 and 300. I'll do a drawing, uh, do a drawing in a week. Okay, so all that being said, uh, one other piece of business before we get started. You notice I'm not wearing a hat right now, and the reason that I'm not wearing a hat at this very minute is because I had to introduce this hat. Now, this hat is something extremely special. Um, uh, a, a new friend uh, and a fan of my channel, uh, a woman named Brandy, uh, I was at an event this summer and uh, she came up to me and she said, I've got something for you. And she handed me this thing and uh, she said, I know how you like hats, Carson. And I just, you know, I really love your energy and I love your vibe. And I, I'm not a glass blower, but I love your channel. Her husband's a glass blower. So I love your channel, I love your vibe, and I, and I made this for you, and I thought, oh my God. And I opened it up, and here's what it was. This is the most epic freaking hat ever. It is, if you can see, it's an octopus. <laughs> it's all entirely hand crocheted by my friend Brandy, and this thing is amazing. The tentacles, they have little curly cues to them. They even have suckers on them. It's got eyes. It'd be a great dread cap. I don't have dreads, obviously, but it'd be a great dread cap. So this thing is freaking awesome. And I told her, I said, Randy, I'm going to have to wear this in a, in a video. 
And uh, she's like, oh, sir, I sure was hoping that you would. You know, she said, I, love, I know how you love your crazy hat, so. <laughs> um, and I haven't decided what to name my octopus hat, but it, I feel like he needs a name. But, I mean, this thing has a presence in and of itself. I mean, it's, and it, it, it is super warm. I also decided to wait until the winter time to, to, to shoot a video with this thing on, and I will do my best not to catch on fire with uh, with my octopus tentacles. So that was so super awesome. Made my day, made my week, made my month. I mean, it, it made, it is just the coolest thing. And if I'm ever feeling down on myself, I, I just like kind of look over at my octopus hat and I'm like, man, you know, if there was one person that loved me, man, look at this thing. I mean, she said it took her like forever. And I just imagined, uh, so I know there was a lot of love that was put into every stitch and uh, Brandy, uh, when you get a chance to watch this, I thank you very much for my awesome octopus hat. Okay, so, and first I have to put on my, my shades because if I try to put on my shades over my octopus hat, it just wouldn't happen. So, anyways, now, I feel like the guy in, uh, uh, what was that movie? Um, Oh, I'm drawing a blank now. Uh, Johnny Depp, uh, the technical guy. Anyways, so yeah. Oh, and the other thing I wanted to show you guys is a is a hollow pendant made out of this this same technique, and it's double sided. Can't really see it very well. There's not a lot of contrast there. Um, so, anyways, we might get to that. I, I don't want to promise that, but. Uh, as far as tools that I'm going to be using, super, super simple. Um, using some 12 5 blow tubes, using some uh, like 5 mil, five mil uh, solid rod. I have some, uh, some points already made up. I'm going to be doing cobalt with silver fuming and, uh, and a caramel wrap rake pattern uh, for, for the ornament today. Uh, and that's a great color combo. It turns out really beautiful. Um, so yeah, uh, yeah. So without uh, further ado, I think we can go ahead and get started. Again, my intros are pretty long, so feel free to skip around this video if you need to. Octopus hat, what? Absolutely the coolest thing ever. Uh, so, anyways, I'll do my best to explain as we go along. Uh, and guys, uh, I, I have been thinking about, you know, what we could do as far as a uh, topic of discussion uh, for this video. Uh, one of the things I was thinking about is, uh, you know, gifting is a good one, although we've already done gifting, you know, so we'll just kind of go with the flow and see how it goes. Um, so, anyways... Go ahead and grab this, this blank out and we'll get us started. All right, so this is a, a 25 mil uh, Chinese cobalt point blank. Now notice it's, it's a pretty long point and the reason that it is pretty long is so that I don't burn myself. I can get pretty far away from my big flame uh, when I do go to go ahead and and uh, puff it out and everything. Yeah, I think there's going to be a lot of explaining in this video. I don't know if we'll have too much time to, to, to have a topic for discussion. But, you know, it's always good to think about what we could talk about even. Maybe that is a topic in and of itself. You know, I like thinking about things. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just warming this blank up. And I turn my oxygen down, so it's a pretty reducing flame. A reducing flame, if you're not familiar, means that you have more propane than you do oxygen in the, in the fire. I have a piece of silver that is on the end of this rod. I don't know if you guys can see that. And I'm going to go ahead and fume this with silver. I'm going to put a very heavy coating of silver fume on this. All right, everybody hold your breath. As I put it in the flame, it vaporizes. And uh, it's important if you're gonna be doing this technique to use uh, proper ventilation. 
uh, please don't uh, give yourself heavy metals poisoning. So that's where we're at. We put a nice, heavy, heavy, heavy coat of silver fuming on there. And you notice that silver sticks right to the surface and it makes it look mirrored. Uh, and, you know, mirrors are silvered. Uh, there's a process, it's a chemical process in which they take a flat sheet glass and, and use uh, a silver in solution to, to create a mirror. So that if you ever wondered how mirrors were made, that's how they're made. You gotta be kind of careful. I'm not used to having all this tentacle hair. Anyway, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get my flame where I want it. I've got a flame that's a little bit narrower, a narrow hip. Um, not a super enthusiastic flame, but um, you know, not not too small either. And I'm just gonna take a stringer of this color, this uh, caramel color, and I'm just gonna wrap it. And as I wrap it, I've decided recently that I really like the um, intricacy I get when I put my wraps very close together with this technique. Um, you can also trail the glass. Um, if, you're, if you're not familiar with that, that would mean taking a full rod of color and melting it as you trail it down the blank. I've, I've demonstrated that in other videos. Uh, with this technique, it's, it's nice because you can get a lot, a lot of control over where you put your lines. So, and I'm going to put my lines fairly close together. Um, you know, and what's kind of great about uh, this technique is that you can really vary things. Uh, you can rake one way, turn it around, rake the other. Uh, you can put more or less color on there. You can vary the distance in between the points in which you rake, uh, you know, adding silver fume adds another dimension, uh, change, you know, obviously color, um, variations um, on the themes of different colors. Um, all of these things are great uh, ways to just kind of, if you're a glass blower, to, to vary your work. Um, I'm really uh, my whole career, I've been really stuck on this, this wrap and rake thing. And uh, one of the reasons for that is uh, I find that it's, it's, it's a really interesting, well, for one, it's, it's one of the most classic patterns that you can have in glass. Uh, it, it dates back to the uh, ancient Egyptians or even before that, I think. Uh, and I, I don't know, I just really like it. So, like I said, I've been kind of stuck on this pattern for a long time. Um, and I think it just makes for a beautiful Christmas ornament. So, anyways, that's where we're at. And those lines are pretty close together, if you can see. Uh, and I don't worry if there's a little lump where the, where the stringer meets itself. It all kind of comes out in the wash. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, Turn up my flame a little bit. Again, I want a narrow shoulder on this flame. Uh, I want to I want to create a line of heat so that when I come from the top and rake right down to the bottom, I'm going to have the heat where I want it. Uh, so. One of the learning curves uh, for, for, for becoming a glass blower is really learning your flame characteristics for your specific torch. Um, and once you kind of learn how to read the glass and the characteristics of your flame in general, uh, of flames in general, and then, then as you hone in on your specific torch and your specific flame settings, um, you become much more efficient. And it's, that's a big learning curve for, for, for this, this art form. Uh, it's really getting getting narrowed in on you know what my flame needs to look like for each particular step of each particular uh, technique for each particular object that I'm going to make. Um, it's it's super important. So, so yeah. 
and I thought about this this video, and 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 I haven't really done any uh, YouTube giveaways, uh, and you know I thought, well, it's a great time of year to do a giveaway for one, and for two, I think it's important to give back to those that that show support uh, to me and, and to the channel, um, and you know maybe a, a good thing to think about, especially during this time of year, is, is, is supporting those that uh, either that you care about on a personal level or that uh, that have given something to you. And um, I think it's really important in general. Uh, and I've, I'm always blown away when uh, somebody buys anything of mine, you know. <laughs> The fact that I can make uh, make a living uh, and support myself making beautiful objects, it's really, it's a trip. Um, and I appreciate everybody that supports supports me in, in my endeavors to create, to create glass art and to create beautiful objects uh, for our world. And um, it just means a whole lot. And, you know, so, so that $30 that you might spend on a Christmas ornament. Yeah, you, you might spend it at a store somewhere, um, and, and that's fine. You're supporting somebody else. Maybe you're supporting somebody who has a job in a factory overseas, and, and that's fine. Um, but uh, when you buy something from an artist, from an artisan, from a craftsperson uh, who really puts their, their, their heart and soul into their craft, um, that's a, that's that's high praise, and, um, and 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 it makes it makes what I do possible. Uh, so I appreciate any support that I do get. So here's where we're at. It looks uh, looks pretty brown at this point. I don't know if you guys can see that very well. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and clean up this end. Then I will heat up uh, probably about two-thirds of this blank and I'll puff it out and as I puff it out I'll let it kind of sink back on itself and you guys will see the process as I go through it. So again, for those that are newer to glass or interested, I'm changing my flame chemistry here. I wanted something a little bit wider of the hip and a little bit hotter. Um, a fairly neutral flame is what I have right now. So I'm, I'm heating up just the end of this thing, and I've got a piece of uh, a five mil uh, rod that I'm going to take this glass off with and just spin it off, make a nice termination. That's the idea here. I'm really not used to blowing glass in my, uh, <laughs> in my hat here. I'm like a little nervous. It's kind of <laughs> in my peripheral vision, so maybe I'll go and open my, my shoulders. <laughs> All right, so let's see here. Let me just finish, finish my thought here. Sometimes I think about different steps as like finishing a thought, like having a complete sentence before I jump into another sentence, right? So. And that's where we're at. Let this cool down a little bit so you guys can see it. I also decided I think I want to try to keep these videos just a little shorter. My videos have been such long form, so we probably won't get to that uh, pendant demonstration. But just know that you can make that pendant in the same way you make this. Just scale it down. So anyways, that's where we're at. Again, I'm going to heat up about that much. For those who might be wondering what kind of torch this is, this is a GTT Mirage, Glass Torch Technologies Mirage. And if you're not familiar with uh, what these bench burners run on, they run on propane and oxygen, uh, typically. You can also run them uh, off of natural gas and or hydrogen, or or hydrogen, not and hydrogen. All right. All right, 
so that's where we're at. Before I let it cool down too much, I'm going to go ahead and, and keep it warm. And uh, I'm on a nice brushy flame here. And I'm kind of focused on the middle of this bulbous end, kind of like the equator. And then toward the ends, that little nipple. And I'm just slightly pointing it down and I'm kind of letting it sink in on itself a little bit here. Um, you know, if I were a little more organized and had a little bit more money to throw at this whole video making thing, I'd, I'd have you guys a nice lens filter and I tried messing around with some of that. I'm not a videographer or whatever. I, that's not my strong suit. But I hope that uh, sometimes my explanations uh, help as far as um, what you guys can't see in the flame and what I'm what I'm not doing. So, or what I am doing, what you're not seeing. All right, so I'm just kind of dropping this bulb back on itself, and this will become one side of our ornament. If you're not already following me, um, I have an Instagram account that I post things for sale on sometimes, and that's at C-A-P-G-L-A-S-S, Cat Flash. Okay. We'll let this cool down a touch so you guys can see it. But there's that, the one side of that pattern is there. You guys can see that. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I have to put a hole dead in the middle of this. So I'm going to come on this side of my flame and I'm going to watch for the flame to deflect. And as I do that, I'll know that I'm right on the tip of it. Now, I can't see what you guys are going to be able to see, but I I, uh, I know I can put a hole directly in the middle of this ball here. So I turn my flame way down, a very pinpoint needle flame. Octagonal reamer here. I'm just going to push that hole out a little bit to make it a little wider. Give me a nice wide attachment point for my blow suit, which I'm going to attach. You guys can see that pattern. I'm going to do a, a, a hot seal, this is called a straight seal, and it's it's hot, it's, it's become one piece of glass, because I don't want this thing jumping off, off on me. I have a friend that likes to do like a semi-cold seal uh, on a lot of things, and the problem that I found with that is that if you can notice, there's that condensation in this tube, and as you blow on it, that condensation will come down, and if if this isn't attached pretty well, it will sometimes jump off and uh, sometimes you lose your work like that and sometimes it just will startle the crap out of you and you got to pick it up. And, um, so there is a way to do it to where you're not sealing it fully, but I'm, I'm not so into that. So if you noticed, I, I melted it off kind of far away. All of this stuff on the end here, that's creating stress. This is all stressed out and it's cold. So I have to come back in here uh, kind of carefully. And I needed to give myself a little bit of real estate to melt it back and warm it up to get, to get some heat, heat, heat base back into this end that I'm now gonna work on. 
So, uh, but in much the same way that I, I did the termination on the other side, uh, that's what I'm going to do on this side. So. Yeah, I've uh, noticed on YouTube, uh, there's a lot of people have been messaging me and, and saying that they, they get a lot out of the videos. And every time I get one of those messages, it, you know, it just make, it makes me feel really good about doing this, guys. And, um, you know, I, I enjoy teaching. I really do. I enjoy uh, uh, sharing my experiences and, uh, you know, whatever little knowledge or wisdom that I've been able to accumulate over the years. Um, so I really appreciate it. Uh, it's just been a lot of fun. And, and it doesn't take much of nothing now. You kind of get what you pay for with me. I mean, you notice there's no filter. We got an HD thing going on now, which is good, you know. Um, so that's where we're at. That's the shape we're at. And I'm going to heat this up, and I'm just going to kind of blow it out. And then I'm going to let it sink back down on itself. A lot of the stuff that um, you see me do, it just takes practice. Um, there's really, um, you know, I can explain things step by step and uh well, that's an important part of the learning process, I, I'd say an equally important, if not more important part of this process is, is actually doing it and, and, and trying a bunch of times and failing a bunch of times usually. Um, you know, it, I, I did not learn how to do this overnight. I don't, no, nobody really does. So, uh, you know, that's another part of... Um, becoming an artisan and supporting artisans or artists. You know, you're paying for the object that you buy, but you're also paying for their 150 ones that didn't work out. <laughs> so, anyways, that's where we're at. That's the shape we're in. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and Drop this half back on itself to create that kind of that disc shape. Uh, and I'm, I'm kind of holding it down at an angle. To kind of let that glass fall back in on itself a little bit. I really like that one. See if you guys can see that yet. Yeah, I think you can see that. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I have to pop a hole. And where I pop this hole is it'll be my, my final hole. It'll be where I put my little bale. I didn't show you guys this, but I have these little bales. Um, just like the standard Christmas ornament bales. Some people like to make a gla little glass. Uh, attachment little bail for that. I find that these look very professional. I'm gonna have to have a hole in the thing anyways. It takes a step away from me having to make a glass bail. Also having the glass bail attached. It is a stress point um, and yes there are ways to mitigate the stress but the fact is that if you have a glass pendant, a glass ornament, something with a bail on it, that bail is the thing that's always gonna break. So it kind of avoids that. So I'm going to decide where on this kind of equator I'm going to put the, the hole. And it doesn't really matter on this one. It, it looks pretty, um, pretty symmetrical. So I'm just going to focus some heat, uh, narrow flame. 
uh, right on that equator. Up it out a bit. Come back. Okay, we're gonna bring this out and I'll show you guys. Okay, that's where we're at. Okay, now I am going to punny up to this and tear off my uh, tear off my blow to close that up, and we'll be almost done. Small flame, light punty. Small flame, light punty. Punty is just temporary handles for the for those of you who don't know glass speak. And it's temporary in the fact that it's not all the way melted in. It's actually what's called a compound joint. Uh, and uh, so the idea is that it will break cleanly off at the very last step. So attach that punny. Let's give it a little tug. Let it settle in. Little tug. Make sure we're, we're, right, on, uh, we're right on center there. Then I'm going to come back to my blow, blow tube here. And I'm going to melt that off. When I melt this off, I'm just going to go super slow, take my time, try to get as much as that clear glass off in the first shot as I can. And then I'm going to come back in with like a piece of three mil rod and I'm going to clean that clear glass off here. Now the last step of this is going to use uh, a tool, what's called a Sofietta. Uh, and I actually made myself a Sofietta really easily with a piece of uh, piece of uh, blowpipe. I just put a little beeswax on it. That's just beeswax. I didn't like put it in my butt or anything. So I'm just going to come back in here at this on this little nipple that, I, that that was created after I took that blow tube off, and I'm just kind of gently melting it in, gently, gently. Um, nice gentle flame and it's pretty much disappeared at this point I'm, I'm looking at it right now looking at the profile of this and it's, it's pretty much disappeared but if I need to I'll turn it straight up and down give it a little air in the side and that's it let that cool down for you so that I mean you can buy Sofietas I have a very beautiful Sofietta but that works just as well. You don't even need beeswax if you're careful. I don't need beeswax on that. It just kind of makes me feel better. Uh, so there's that side. Take a pair of big tweezers. Get them warm. I want a nice kind of a punchy, narrow flame for when I shock this uh, punny. Take it on the edge of my marver to shot uh, to put a line of stress in that honey. Got just a little fingernail on there, nothing crazy. Come back in here with some fine squeezers. Eat that little fingernail of uh, clear glass with the honey left. Heat it, heat it, heat it. Pull it off. take that just a little dimple there just melt it in gently 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 all right and there you have it a cap glass 2018 ornament that's the style bay bay Again, if you wanted to purchase one, uh, get in touch, drop a comment. Um, my email address is capglassworks at gmail.com. You can find me on Instagram at capglass. Um, you can uh, direct message me there. Uh, I think YouTube direct message should work just fine as well. Um, and also, uh, you know, please enter into the uh, drawing. I, I would love. I'm looking forward to giving away this ornament so 
Um, you guys have a wonderful, safe holiday season. Uh, enjoy yourselves. And uh, God bless. We'll see you next video.